You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is up? What is going on? And welcome back to the show. If you was with us for our 8 o'clock um, segment and uh, you're back for our 9 o'clock, uh, give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah. No, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, always always tuning in and uh, being with us as we as we broadcast three hours of night uh so yeah it's a lot for us and it's a lot for you to listen and uh like i said i'm so appreciative of you guys because you make the show we have a very special guest so you should definitely stick around for that oh yeah um i hope you guys had an incredible holiday i did you know with egg nod and uh mistletoe and whatnot all that other you know festive stuff but um, anyway, energize your abundance. Do you ever have a bleak day when nothing seems to go right? Do you ever feel trapped in a life of uh, mediocrity? Are you ever overwhelmed by all the things you must do before you can even think about the things you would like to do? When thoughts of gloom and frustrations overcome you, stop. Stop right where you are. Take out a piece of paper or open a, a, a notepad on your phone or something. And then write um, 10 things for which you are thankful for. Keep writing until you have at least 10. Once you've done that, your outlook will likely begin to change. But keep going and do one more thing. For each item you've listed, think of a specific action you can take immediately which will express your appreciation. Perhaps it is something you can do in return for someone else, or perhaps it is something which will make better use of a blessing that you already have. Give power and vigor to the good things already in your life, and you'll bring more good things into your life. Fight the gloom and despair by energizing your own abundance. Take that from me, Danny Mussolini. That is my word, and word is bond. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music or Inside the Book. Inside the business where we dive into the minds of the people who create marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. So one time, one time for my people who are indigos, crystalline or star seeds, or for my vigilantes audience family. And two times for my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're like me, we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners and we've been at this for four solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kids on this journey and we are still evolving baby it is all because of you most definitely we are the people who have dedicated their lives to music spirituality business literature art movies and research in every aspect and we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists to nominees to actors comedians CEOs technology geniuses visual artists from art Authors to professors and aliens, or people think they're aliens. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out. To book your interview, or just to share a real cool story, email me at the radio at only one media group.com and that's v as in victor i'm passionate about what i do just as passionate about what you do and together 
yes together we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it so let's create something incredible you know the number to dial 701-801-9813 text that number to your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests or you can hop in the mix directly from our website only one media group.com right from the home page you can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and we take up the entire hour and as always all episodes are available for free download and you can grab that from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we ever aired all right guys tonight's interview is the fh interview and again i'm your host david mussolini okay for one of the first times in my interview experiences and guys, I've had six years of this, but um, I genuinely feel like I have no clue as what will come back through this interview with FH. As far as answers goes, this can go either way, I suppose. My rambling style interview um, has often brought out many sad stories or even stories of triumph just from my curiosity leading me to ask everything that's on my mind. So will we be surprised by the answers? I truly hope so, right? We hope to get a uh, we hope to get the stories behind these artists and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That's Vigilante's radio purpose. And guys, with that, let's welcome them to our show. Hey, four to five hustlers, you're now live in the midst with all of us. How's it going? How's it going? Good. How's y'all? How y'all? How you doing? Doing great. Doing great. All right, all right. Happy, uh, uh, I was going to say Happy New Year, but uh, we ain't there yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas, guys, and happy holidays. Hope you guys had a blast thank yesterday. You. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. All right. So uh, I know I introduced you guys as FH, uh, but who are the guys within the duo? I work. I work right now. I'm just right here. It's D Eagle and uh, Mo Better. Mo Better and D Eagle. That is what's up, guys. Welcome again to the show. Um, let's start at the beginning. For those who don't know about you or your music yet, um, tell us everything we need to know about your life story. All right. Well, we could start if we start this from the beginning. Yeah, we can start basically. Uh, it all started uh, probably about ten years ago. You know, um, I started making music. Uh, in the basement, you know, starting that way. And then things developed, you know, started uh, reaching out to different family members and people that's around. And it was like, you know, I, I think you're nice. Because I ain't even know. Like, I, I was just playing around with it. It was like, no, nah, this is this, this, this nice, man. This need to be this need to be put on something. People need to hear this, you know. So then I started taking it a little more mm-hmm. serious part, like, in the last two, three years. And then, uh, you know, then my cousin, Mo Better, you know, he, uh, he was more into the rap battle realm. And uh, switched over, and um, it, it's, it's been working pretty good for us ever since then. You know, we just uh, basically right now trying to get off the ground, get our name known, you know, get out here and let people know, hear our struggle story. You know, we came oh, yeah. in real struggle situation, you know, didn't have nothing. You know, and then, you know, just like people tell you, don't quit, you know, mm-hmm. keep going forward. Most definitely. All right, cool deal. So, um, in your journey moving forward as always um you guys successfully created a hype for your music a simple and genius step to the old supply and demand rule especially if you you know either you uh great at economics or you great on the street you know the old supply and demand rule is but currently guys what's driving you now to be so productive and keep it moving well, I, I believe what's driving us more so is, uh, you know, the fans, you know, that real organic interaction, mm. you know, with the, um, you know, our growing audience, um, you know, when they telling us, you know, basically, you know, the feedback on the music that we're putting out, <clears throat> you know, like every time, you know, with the feedback we're getting, it's amazing, you know, that, and, and that feeling, you know, it's like, you know, it's a satisf- satisfaction, you know. We satisfied for you know the the product we have put out, so you know that's that's pretty much the 
the drive, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to keep it moving, to keep going. Most definitely. All right. So there's a lot that I want to talk to you guys about and ask. The moment I heard your music, it was like a thousand questions popped up into my brain. And uh, that's a tremendous indication to me that you're making the music that helps people think and feel things. Um, so tell me about the inspiration behind your music. Like, uh, what's what's your overall theme or the overall message that you're getting out into the world? Uh, basically, we, I want to give out the reality of the world. You know how things is. You know how you know uh, how it's really where we're coming from, and how you can make a change and, and you can flip the situation you in. You don't have to stay that street way. You can make you can make money different ways. You can excel, you know, and uh, just 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 to give out the realisticness of of the, of the music industry, the realisticness of the streets, you know. And a lot of people sugarcoat a lot of stuff and don't tell them like, oh, okay, you can do that, but what comes along with that, you know? And I'm just, you know, we just trying to put it out there and let them know ahead of time, you know, so they can get that that that, that good inspiration at the same time. That's right. That's right. So what are like the must-haves in a track uh, from FH? Like what needs to be included for it to be identifiable to your sound? Um, I think with that is more, I think with that is more so uh, with our words, you know, we, we paint pictures with our words, you know, that that's what really makes, you know, the visual, you know, um, so like uh, this is not really a particular sound because I mean if um, if you if if a lot of you know the the fans that been with since the beginning and then you know some of the fans that came along that can you know go back and see the things that we done play a lot of our a lot of our you know sounds are different you know it's not one sound that FH has mm. you know what I mean we're able to. Um, we're able to to get on a lot of different you know sounding beats different genres as well so that's what's up uh, what's the weirdest genre you guys have tackled into the weirdest genre we have tackled into was um was uh, I guess you could I guess you could say, say auto tune <laughs> ah <laughs> yeah uh that's I, 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 that's not really a genre, but I mean to us, we consider that you know a genre. Like that's its own, um, it's its own lane and its own right in under the hip hop branch. You know? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I think it is a genre because at one point it was the go-to sound. You know, um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. More exactly. rappers were were attempting to sing and singers were attempting to rap at the time so and i think it's still right. like that but uh yeah yeah i think it is like a sub-genre of hip-hop auto-tune like, yeah it's like a sub-genre of hip-hop you know you know you, yeah you got the you know more so the older guys hip-hoppers you know oh i don't do that and then you know you got the the newer guys mm-hmm. the new generation who do the auto-tune well i don't rap like that so to speak so you know i think it's it is still hip hop, so you know I think it's right to put it in this popper space. You know what I mean? It's yeah, it's its yeah. own little lane up under the the hip hop branch. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. So we have like a lot of listeners who are beginners in music and business, you know, and uh, mm-hmm. and just endeavors in general. Um, what do you feel like you've learned throughout the current release of your uh, single, your hit single, Swerve Talk? that might help other artists out there who are just getting started? The uh, main thing you need to stick with is your originality. Don't go out here trying to hear something and try to be like them. Because when you start taking that ride where you're like, well, I need to sound like them, right? You know, do this and do that. That 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 kind of thing can pull you back a little. When we, we start learning like, you know what, we got to stick to what we was in the beginning. Be original. Cause we were trying to go so many different routes and it wasn't working that way and as soon as you decide like let, let me be me on this track let me do this and that's what people really like to what separates you from everybody you know and that, that's I, I gotta definitely say that to the new beginners don't try to be like someone else yeah and uh and also you know yeah, you know that's I think that would be probably um you know that's 
as part of the, the aspect of making music but um, as far as like the business part you know just making sure that you have your you know basically your ducks in order your ducks in line you know you got your your you got your video shoot already set you know you got your proper promotions already set beforehand you know having them dates and having basically having everything correlate with each other so having your ducks in order and like like you said like uh d would say you know just you know being yourself mm -hmm. most definitely so what else did you guys learn through these sessions uh, that might help you personally when you go to create the next hot record Um, basically, you're looking for that. You're looking for that 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 hit. That, that's what's crazy. It's, it's not as easy as said. You know, people think like I'm going to make this. That hit is is not that hit. And so many things that you can say that you work so hard on. I'm gonna tell you right now. I learned that more. Just go with your gut feeling. The first thing that comes to head is more like your hit. The things that you play around with. The stuff you take all day on, try to, this is this, this is, I got to redo that. No, you go ahead and go with first come to mind and what your gut feeling is, and then that, that makes things a lot, a lot more better, a lot more rich now. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. All right, that's a good point, guys. I hope you guys are listening to that uh, great advice that they're giving, um, that they even apply to their own, uh, their own approach to music. Um, but look, guys. Uh, so here's a chance to relive a highlight moment in your life for us. Um, I'm sure you you guys had some memorable experiences. But which one would you guys choose for the most personal, meaningful? You know, where the recognition you achieved came from something you really felt like deserved that recognition. Mm. We probably. I don't know. We, we we might got some different. You got you got a couple. Was I mean like like I like the New York I like I like the New York crowd going to New York their experience you know because they are real critique they they're, they're real they real critique you on what you're doing and how you sound because a lot of hip hop around come from that base so mm -hmm. going from Michigan to there to actually feel that and feel them vibe with us and move with us that there let me know like hey this, this is not just a sound fit for my region. I could take this here in the East Coast. I could take this here and there, and that, and that gave me a great recognition. Yeah. But for him, like, but yeah, I would say, yeah, for me, probably was, um, I think a, I think it would be last year. We had a perform, we had opened up for Jeezy, um, for Young Jeezy at the Lansing Center at our, at our hometown. Now, the Lansing Center is basically, if a, if you look at uh, the, you know what I'm saying, hip hop, you know what I'm saying, culture in, in, in our city, the Lansing Center is like the Super Bowl of, of performance or performing. You know, like that's where all the big artists have come. That's where the, the biggest of the biggest stage of, of, of Lansing, as far as Lansing in our home city, our hometown, the capital of Michigan. So to open up for Young Jeezy, you know, I think that was, he was doing his little 104 yeah, tour too yeah. as well. So, like, opening up for him, you know, at the same time, you know, with the other, you know, opening acts, got to rub elbows and little connects from that. Um, big Feature came from there as well with the with the Michigan artist, um, Cash Kid by the name. But um, I think that right there was probably the big, um, one of the big accomplishments that, you know, so we got a recognition from. Yeah. That's dope, man. Real dope. So I never thought about asking this before, but uh, what I want to know is whether or not everyone deserve a second chance, maybe a third or even a fourth. You know what I mean? Can people truly change? Mm. Can people truly change? Um, yeah, I say yes. Yeah, I, I definitely got to say yeah. yeah. I'm definitely coming from you know, <laughs> one of us. Right. You know, the life we just living, you know. The road of destruction we were on, you know, I could say that we just actually say we I'm trying to right, you know, I see the positivity I can do through this or the message I can release through music where I didn't have to do like this. So. But on uh, another life you no know, period, yeah, people can change. You know, I definitely give people second I chance. Definitely believe I mean, I, I also believe that, you know, even our music could, you know, can get you through, you know, certain times and, you know, certain certain situations 
you know what I mean? If uh, you know, so definitely feel as you know, everybody deserves a second, a hey, fourth, third chance. Yeah. You know, there ain't nobody perfect in this world, you know what I mean? Most definitely. Yeah, that was going to be my next question. Uh, do you think your music will help people explore, um, you know, and try to redeem themselves through second and third chances? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Like I, like I just said, you know, our music touch on, you know, most of the time my music touch on like real life experiences. So, mm. you know, and I know where we at is not the only part of the world that's like this. So I'm pretty sure a lot of the people then been through certain similar situations. So when they hear that and they, you know what I'm saying, got somebody else, somebody else that went through that too. And then, you know, it it, 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 it definitely, definitely help. I mean, certain other people's music, it helped me, so. Okay. So your guys, your music is also talking about the chances that you guys have received and or, or how you come out of a situation and, um, you know, different perspectives of those situations. Right. right. Okay. Cool deal. All right. Um, did you guys come from a musical background? Are there any other musicians in your family? Yeah, I, I would have to say, yeah. Uh, I definitely came from a musical background. Uh, it was back in the day to have things like talent shows and stuff like that and basically like especially at our family reunion we used to have talent shows all the time and the uncle would play nothing but old school music to me all the time like and, and make me go over stuff and, and repetition like mm-hmm. this is how you got to do it you gotta do. so performing my performance really came from repetition of being young and it just you know we, we were I was, I was I was basically trained like the Jackson 5 <laughs> yeah <Right>. wow <laughs> that's intense <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely from the background. Like that. Uh, and then I also, uh, I have a um, grandfather on my dad's side. Uh, he was uh, actually um, a radio host, and he also was was it was in a band. But um, he kind of passed before, um, like kind of right before I was born. So, you know, I I, I don't know too much of that story, but I do know yeah. that. So. All right, guys, are y'all ready for some music? After the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. That's right. It is called the hot seat. That's where we make FH sweat a little bit. You know, our fans love this part of the segment. And, of course, along with the actual interview. But the audience get a chance to hear these guys. Maybe they can sing. Maybe they do poetry, inspirational speech, spoken word, freestyle raps. They even tell us a joke or a story. It will be their choice. They can choose whatever they want to perform. Um, but yeah, we'll find out what these creative minds and vessels were producing the spotlight. And tonight we'll find out if FH has what it takes to be put on the spot, a test of their true artistry, and maybe even some hidden talents. But for right now, we have FH with their song Swerve Talk. We'll be right back. Everybody turn it back on me, they should have waited. Yeah. Let go, let go, check. Hey, it's Rick on them keys and them. Everybody turn it back on me, they should have waited. Yeah. They acting like they want you to make it until you make it. Yeah. Test you to be shocked when you lay down the demonstration. Yeah. Follow what your homie from lack of communication. Now, the bag bigger, I brag different, I transition. Yeah. The brand different, the plan different. Company bigger, it's random. Yeah. My bitch is thicker, her ass fatter, she stand different. Had to take advantage, they gave me a chance with it. Damn. Never catch me slipping, leave that to the transmission. Yeah. Yeah. Swerve talk. I-94, chicken coop, bird talk. Yeah. Everybody want that spotlight. Yeah. But they don't want what come with that spotlight. Nah. Nah. Everybody want to be me. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't want to do me each time. Yeah. You ever had some cheese on your head and they put it on their nation, they won't sleep till you dead. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred thousand on your bed. Kilo and dog left them fleas. Talk. I-94, chicken coop, bird talk. Yeah, yeah. Put that motherfucker zap on. And when they go off, turn that motherfucker back on. Baby soul on the two, swerve talk. Yes, turn one in the two, swerve talk. Swerve. 20 for the blues, swerve talk. Pull up with the dudes, swerve talk. Swerve. The eight ball on me, I'm a pool yeah. 
table. Put the baby in a basket, treat it like a cradle. It's swerved out like I ain't stable. I'm connected on your street like I serve cable. Wanna have a beasy? That's a teeny bop. Want the overs with the soda? That's a can of pop. Run the fingers with the work, call it straight drop. Make the white jump back, that's a bunny hop. Want a half in the pot, looking like some grits. Boy, you grab his blunt. Better wash your mitts. Percolated on the stove, I'm dropping the splits. I'm being 100, as real as it gets. Uh, crank talk, I-96, drugs, no pint talk. Huh. Real talk, making moves with the blues, call it grip walk. Hey, baby, so on the two, swerve talk. Turn one in the two, swerve talk. 20 for the blues, swerve talk. Pull up with the twos, swerve talk. Half a quad on me, nigga, that's an eight ball. Last night I ran through about eight balls. Eight ball, Whole eight zip ball. ball, stones, couple eight balls. Eight ball, Could've eight still ball. did that shit if I was Ray Charles. The bag and busted the stones every time. Ran through a quarter bird, just legs and thighs. I could do this shit if I was blind. I dropped 63 like career highs. Gave a junkie straight fit, he was satisfied. Then came right back, cause he almost died. Swerve talk, swerve talk, nigga look alive. Every time they take a hit, they say they feel alive. Right around half on me like 50-50. Whipping grits, looking like Jiffy Jiffy. Phone ring twice, it's a 50 50. Nigga, the swerve talk got me a pretty penny. Make the sword on the two, swerve talk. Turn one in the two, swerve talk. 20 for the blues, swerve talk. Pull up with the twos, swerve talk. Make the sword on the two, swerve talk. Turn one in the two, swerve talk. 20 for the blues, swerve talk. Pull up with the twos, swerve talk. Yo, and we are back again. That was the Fortified Hustlers with their song, Swerve. Talk with a dope record by FH. Oh, man. We have the links in the description if you want to uh, add that to your playlist like I already have. Uh, just click those links there. Do what I did. Add it to your playlist. Download it, you know. Stream it. Yeah. Do it. All right, so... There are numerous billion dollar companies, you know, doing businesses today, which started only a few years ago with just one person. One person who had a big dream and who started small. Anyone can start small and grow, whether it is in business, education, a relationship, or learning a new skill. Just because you start small does not place any limit on how far you can go. Starting small is infinitely better than never starting at all there's something ambitious um you wish to accomplish it's very likely that you won't get it all done in one single leap but there is certainly no reason to give up on it start small there is something you can do right now like right now while you're listening to this interview to get it going even if that means just jotting down a list of things to do for tomorrow or next week or next month or next year that is still getting started it's still starting small and, you know initial step that's all it takes you know then you're ready for the next step you know there's tomorrow there will be something else you can add to the effort like research you know before long you'll establish a powerful momentum read some books you know watch some youtube videos um in our world of you know text messaging emails and overnight shipping and uh, microwave ovens we too often think that instant gratification is the only kind of fulfillment that matters. Like, I want to be famous right now. Like, I want to be on TV right now. And guys, sometimes it just don't happen that fast. You know, you got to start small, even with podcasting. You got to get get the courage up to, like, hey, I want to do a podcast. And then six years later, you have 37,000 live listeners like we do. But we started with only one for a very, very long time. One person every day. We were losing money. Like, it was ridiculous. But uh, we started. That was the main thing is getting started. So, guys, take your dream, no matter how small it is. Plant the seed. Yeah, you're working a nine to five. I know you don't have time for your dreams. But don't you know that your nine to five is supposed to fund your dreams? What? Yeah, man, that piece of game is for free. But listen, 
don't waste away your dreams. Start somewhere. Jot a list down. Do some research. I mean, your phone is in your hand right now. I know it is. Go on Google, Bing, or Yahoo, whichever search engine you use, and type in what is related to your dream. And start researching, you know. And if you don't have time to read it, there's a, a, a bookmark, you know, a star or something. You can save the website, save the material. Go back to it when you do have time for it. And hopefully that is soon because your dream shouldn't sit in the corner while you're working at somebody else's dream. What? Yeah, we do that all day, every day. It's time to break that cycle. You dig? Yeah, so start somewhere. Good things always take time, even in relationships. You just don't automatically, oh, I love you, girl. Nah, dog. I mean, if only it could be so simple. You know, let's let's skip the getting to know yous and let's, let's just let's just do this. Put everything on the table. Let's just this is what you get. Take it or leave it. I mean, we wish it could be like that. I don't know about you guys, but that's how my current relationship is. <laughs> we just put everything on the table and like, yo, <laughs> what we gonna do? And uh, yeah, but. You know, you got to start somewhere in a relationship. It takes time to build trust, to build uh, all that sweet lovey-dovey stuff. And then sometimes you just go all in. Sometimes things just fall in line like that. But you still got to start somewhere with a simple high, you know? Yeah. Um, they always have and always will. Good things take time. Um, cyberspace notwithstanding. But, you know, do you have a dream? Have the courage and the patience to start small. Keep it up day after day, and it will surely come to be as big as you want it to be. It ain't be the biggest Drake. He just came through my city not too long ago and shut this place down. My goodness. Never seen so many dudes be groupies, but hey, whatever floats your boat, homie. Anyway, let's bring back the men of the moment. FH, otherwise known as Fortified Hustlers. All right, guys, you're back live with all of us. So what are you going to perform for us? Uh, I guess we got a uh, first 48. All right. So uh, uh, we, we can just go? Yep. All right. I once seen a whole brick wrapped in plastic. Once it hit the pot, we watch it do the gymnastics. I once seen something so fantastic. Put the soda after the work and it ran past it. Run past it either way from a quarterback. So if I loan you half of a half, I want my quarterback. Fuck around and get you killed for a half a rack. Or get pistol whip and leave you with a half a rack. You broke it. Probably never seen a half a stack. The coke in the pot performing like acrobats. Being precise is something that I never lack. My aim good. Best believe I'm acting jack. And I did all of that off a of two of act. You get cut out the script, your whole crew will act. Crowd participation, my whole crew will clap. Listen, mister, you splinter, your whole crew will rap. Feeling like Marvin Gaye, we can get it on. Does work speak every language? Rosetta Stone. I came up off a set of stones, job description jeweler, selling stones, selling work every day was my stepping stone. I kept the work in my shoe, that's a stepping stone. First time I sold dope, milestone. Now I got things running miles for stones. You know what I got? 48 the hard way. You gon' mess around and catch 48 the hard way. I used to sell dope in the hallway. And I still sell dope in the hallway. Now I got the strip lit like a Broadway. It's worse than an act on Broadway. I get money quick. You pick the long way. I put a stack out my pocket the long way. Long days, I ain't even sleep at night. Tell me how you supposed to sleep if you ain't eating right. How you sleeping right? And you ain't eating right. I need an eighth in the deuce just to sleep at night. Man, now I turn your whole day to a mere night. How you seeing paranormal panoramic sights? I can't count the last time I had a sleepless night. I keep shooters on deck because I don't need a fight. I do it on my own, and I never snitch. 
white girl in my pocket. I don't need them. I beat it. <laughs> All right, man. We better. That's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I think this has been the best hot seat of the year. Man, oh. you do, man, you do the spitting. And then you tag team me? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got me feeling like I'm sway in the morning. Man. Man, okay, okay. You try to bring that feeling. You try to yeah, bring that feeling. That's bro. what we tried to bring. That's exactly what we tried to bring, man. <laughs> Yo. Oh, you guys did it, man. I, yeah, I think you guys uh, got the best hot seat of the year. I need to start doing an award for that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd, yeah. That'd be, that'd be nice. Yeah, right. we try to, you know, we try to try to carry ourselves like a Jenny Kiss or Styles P type. Oh yeah, you know. So, oh we yeah, love, we, we love doing that. Back we we love that. That's 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 what we got our whole, you know, our whole everything from, you know. Man, you guys right there, man. And y- y'all chemistry man. is wicked, man. How y'all roll back up the back? Oh man, then you both spitting. <laughs> I just sit here go. I, I ain't want to interrupt you by, you know. Being all uh, right. gassed up because I usually get gassed up on on dope lyrics and man, I was just sitting here trying to hold it in. Like, wow, right, man, man, I appreciate that. So good no listen, doubt, man. no doubt. Got to, got to. We gotta let, we gotta let them know the, the you know, what I'm saying the bridge that we that we got in, man, between between that hip hop and this new and this new age. You know, what I'm saying a uh, 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 ear of music, man. This that, that <laughs> we trying to bridge that gap. Yes, sir. All right, guys. One last question for you. How did the music evolve this time around uh, for the latest recording sessions for the EP that you guys are releasing in 2020? Um, we had to actually how it evolved. We um really we used to, we, we we really deep on bars. Like mm-hmm. we we real real lyricism. So at, at this point, um, how the music industry is, we know. That lyricism and the, the, the actual rappers, rapper is does not as quoted as on the highest realm as it should be, mm-hmm. and so we kind of slowed it down a little bit, you know, for for this EP. We kind of made it for the audience and for the listeners and radio friendly and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So we kind of took it that that route. Yeah, took it that route, and also, um, you know, it was uh, we was we really wasn't basically you know thinking about coming out with one but you know every time we kept putting out a single and putting out a single and putting out a single we kept getting asked like kept getting asked like when is when is the when is the uh, is the album coming is mixtape like mm. every time we turn that's what we kept getting asked so i think it's in demand and plus with the with the little movement we got and what we about to be coming with in 2020 with the consistency of of, of the music being dropped I think uh, it's about time to drop that EP. Yes, sir. All right, guys, let everybody know where they can connect with you online. Uh, you can connect with us um, on at Fortify E N T. That's at F O R T I F I E D E N T. That's on Instagram and. Uh, at Mo Better, at, at the real Mo Better. That's D A M O B E T T A. Uh, that's also at D Eagle underscore F H. That's D E A G L E underscore F H. That's Instagram as well. You can also contact us on Facebook, which is Fortified Hustlers E N T L L C. You can also reach us at email uh, F H E N T. LLC at gmail.com that's F-H-E-N-T LLC at gmail.com and uh, that's the same thing for Twitter as well F-H-E-N-T LLC yes sir alright guys I appreciate you guys keep burning them up peace and also you know you want to click into our YouTube channel please subscribe at uh, TV. so just go ahead and click in on there as well Yes, sir. Oh, and guys, we have those links. Um, listeners, we have those links in the episode of this show or in the show notes. So just click those links and check out the records and connect with them online. Please do. Right. Yes, sir. All right, guys, I uh, appreciate you once again. Enjoy your night. And uh, we don't speak again. Happy New Year's. Yeah, happy New Year's to you, too, and all the listeners out there. Thank you 
my Vigilante's family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilante's Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store, or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to vradio at onlyonemediagroup.com. If it's music, please label it by artist and title. Here's my disclaimer. We are genre free. We do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay, but facts alone. And actually, you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show. So deal with it. Nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night. And now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.